emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Shut up and sit down. Hello, gang. Colin here. Festa 67's workshop. Welcome to part three of the eModels ball tank build, which is just in the bottom of the screen there. And this is the Mini Art kit number 40008. There you go. Soviet ball tank with the old winter ski around. And we're doing the winter weathered look. So, with the old instructions, we're going to start doing the sides of the tank. Okay. So I'm going to be putting in all the rings and, and things like that, but the actual bullets and ammo that go in the racks, I'm not going to be putting in just yet because I want to prime them, paint them and then fit them because I can imagine the back row would be quite awkward to get to. And then we've got a bit of gunnage going on. Uh, and then I think if that goes well enough, we might even be able to whop the old tyre on the track. So we'll have a look, see how it goes and see what we get on with. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. So we'll just nip this off. Like so. We'll use a sanding pad for it. And being that this is early stage sanding, you will come off. I'll be using my coarse one mainly, and then I'll go over and do all the fettling once everything is glued in place. So I tend to have these big old sanding pads in different sizes laying around, and it just lets me give them a go because I am brutal with me sanding sticks as people that know me will vouch so yeah king of the sanding stick destroyers so we'll line up a load of spruage at the back there today just to stop them rattling around as I move them so because I've got a sprue rack just to the side here but everything tends to rattle as I'm filming and I, you know, I'm mindful of you guys listening to that, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, what are we after? Uh, C16 is that one. So we're after him. Give you a a quick once over. So as far as I know, the models guys now are getting as back to normal as possible, but still give the folks the opportunity to uh, process your orders. And obviously, if you want one of these uh, tanks to build along with me, then pop over to me sponsor there and. Uh, Slap it in your basket, as Ted would say, because they are in stock, so... And they're a nice little tank, if I'm honest. Uh, let's get me glue. That would help, wouldn't it? So let's just grab one of those and grab that out of the multi... multi, multi holder there in the corner and line that up again. And there's little dimples on the back of these. Just there, see? And they they go in the little holes in the back there like that. Okay. We'll see how we get on for now. So I'm putting in the rings for the little turrets at this stage. And I'm gonna put the internal and the external ones in. And then I will um, not bother putting in the gun like so. So 
So this is A2. So I'm going to nab that little bad boy. Just give that a little, little sandy box. Just like so. Grab me uh, glue. And we'll drop that in. Just like that. you some of that. Wash. And then we've got what looks like a fuel tank to go in. So again I'm gonna get these bits off in. Uh, so I'll sand them coarsely before they go in. But once they're in, I can do all me, me fettling and, and all of that. Once they're in, because I'll be able to see what the eye can actually pick up. If that makes any logical sense to me. Let's nip that a bit closer. Must have been cramped in here. I mean, I feel claustrophobic and I'm only building it. Like so. Little squeeze and let the old capillary reaction of the glue do the job. As you can see, that's scooting around there, see, ease and squeeze. Uh, okay, and then we've got a bit of jerry cannage somewhere. And did we make one or two of those? I can't remember now. Section 20. Yeah, we did. So let's have a look and see whether we can find those. And they're the ones we made earlier. But I think we'll paint them. Or should we paint them off the model? Mind you, though, saying that. Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Am I going to be able to get in there with a hairy stick? I think I should. Oh yeah. Yeah, they'll go. So that can go in then. Decision made. And they're from section 20 on the old destructions.
an ammunition rack to go in as well. And again, I'm not going to put the actual bullets or rounds in. I'm actually going to put the frame in first. And then these will get painted and then inserted. I reckon that will work better because I can imagine when these are made, it's going to be a bit of a, a bind to get round them with a the hairy stick. So I reckon we can get these in, get this all painted with the interior color of the tank and then the rest of it will get done when uh, we get round to it with the, the paintbrush and the detail and yeah all right now will look a bit better a little piece there a little rabbit ear sat there and then we've got those little bad boys I'll do in a bit of that just like that squeeze done squeeze done uh, I think we want a couple of them in there so I'll grab a couple more and do them whilst we've got them and then we can just grab them off the bench and get them built. So I think we'll go ahead and do all of those. Like that. And like so. I still think I should go to Morrison's in one of these. <laughs> strength in it than it's currently got because they are a little flimsy them bits if I'm honest I'm Captain Clumpy hands here if anyone's going to break anything it's going to be yeah you got it okay we got her in the end. See, my brain is saying one thing and my hands want to do the other. Yeah, frustrating. But we get there in the end. Just like that. <clears throat> so we can find where they're going to live, which is about there. And they go up any particular way let's just double check which way up they go yeah, so that's the bottom piece like so so they would go in like that Like 
So. Beginning to look more tankish now, isn't it, eh? and then by powers of deduction one will go the other side just there so I think if we put a bit in there first just to give that something to grip to they can come in at it like so See that scooted along there. So yeah, look at that. So that's those with the tanks. Uh, we got the inner rings to go in C17. So let's see if we can find that. I saw, I saw it somewhere. It is as well. That one. I suppose the clue would be in the number, wouldn't it? C17. Yeah, that'd be a lot faster. doing there was giving it a jiggle until I felt the four little pins dropping the relevant holes on that and then I can just quickly scoot a little bit around just to make sure she's caught like that oh, that's a spare for the other side when I make that ones to go in with our little tiny guns and these internal rings will enable me to push the gun uh, the gun balls these little things these are going to get pushed in from the inside once I've built the guns and put the guns in so I'm going to paint all of this with the rings and everything in place and then push these in from the inside now build instructions tell you to do it the complete opposite but having test fitted one I kind of thought well yeah it's all well and good it goes in but when you want to come to paint the kit it's a bit of a bind having to faff around like that with these rings and I thought well there's got to be an easier way so me been me, I just sat there and figured it out and um, went with with that. Now, I know it works, so that's how I'm going to build mine. So, let's just give that a jiggage to make sure that they're dropping in, like so. He says, I felt one go in, I'm sure I did. Let's just double check that. All right, I did feel it. There you go. Let's put a bit more glue in there now. There you go. She's 
she's gone. Just like so. with YouTube notifications there off the side Chris has just gone live doing one of these wooden builds by the look of it so pop over and have a little looky look and that's the beauty with current events with the hobby a lot of us that do not only builds for e-models but you know, we all do lives, live shows and, and things as well as the E-Models Monday live stream. But the beauty of the current situation is everyone's just got together and, and come up with little shows that we're all doing just to keep everyone occupied during this current dilemma we're all in. So yeah it's been nice to see that everyone has come together on that one to be quite honest with you uh, might as well lop those off and be done with it that's coming off number 19 because i need that so that's a finished finished sprue uh, so we can look for the foot pedals, which are just here, like that. Yeah, they're tiny, aren't they? I suppose they would be. Like that. Bit of ammo, not doing them this episode. They'll be chopped off and put on the pegs, ready to be painted. So the next time we see a lot of this it's actually going to be on the clips ready to be painted and then we'll uh, we'll do a bit of a paint session in a video and let you all see what we we're, we're up to with the painting so everything that is getting the base color will get painted up that will be the entire inside frame plus what I'm making today will get done so we've then got the track section to build um, and fit and then we can paint probably the interior framework and the track all at the same time and then I can come back at the track afterwards and weather and do whatever I need to to make that look more trackified should we say so yeah but this little uh, session is more about putting all of these little bits and nooks and crannies of both halves of this together because I've got the other half to do so I'm going to put that together and finish that and then we'll have two duplicate halves done um, so that's all the rings and everything in that one uh, and then what will happen with that is you'll have a, a gun mount that will go in which is one of these 
and it will push in from the inside like that see and then that becomes a turny gun mount see but for me it's just easier to paint that with that out of the way see and I'll put them in afterwards so that's what I'm going to do um, so that is the internal gubbins done on those which brings us up to the tyre bin built stage so have we got a bit of gunnage we can do says Festa I think we have I think we can put one of these together so that's what we're going to grab um, so what do we want we want a 12 and a 13 so that's a those one of each of them like that So that will fit, so we're going to just give that a bit of a, a start and again just to get components to start going together and the final going over it with the glue and all of the lipstick and mascara, it can wait, it's just getting things assembled. Now on this AB14 which looks like a tiny breach. Could well be. And that drops in like so. There or thereabouts. So I'll give that a welly. will go like so number four so that's a bit of casting swarf some of these pieces are really tiny though go into whisper mode when I'm concentrating I do apologize some people are probably going good Clumsy. I might have to let some of these bits dry, mate, and come back at that. There's my big old five pounds of chipper larter ends. I'm knocking them off. So I'm going to pause. And we'll come back after that piece has dried 
in place and finish that gun because I'm going to end up knocking bits off of it I can see straight away it's pretty much twice I've done it in as many minutes there so yeah let's get a pair of tweezers to hold that in just to stop me from twitching on it there you go and we'll let that do its thing over there so I'm going to pull and we can now carry on with this little bit of gunnage <clears throat> because it's had time to dry so let's get the old nippers of shame out just open me drawer and this will look something to rest the old sprucey popsies on let's try and remember which one it was and it was that one there well spotted mate and we'll get the old um they'll get it when they get here from the first time I did it yeah very tiny believe it or not that's it put the bracket on there get the old tweezers out for the next bit folks know what will happen the carpet monster is looking at me at the moment and it's going chum yum yum I spot myself a bit of model plastic and I'm hungry yeah well, you know what you can do Mr. Carpet Monster you can take a pill because you're not getting it that's what we want Pretty much what we want. That was fun, wasn't it? Pew. Yeah, I was getting a bit, a bit twitchy there on that. Like that. And we can drop him on now that I'm 100% happier there you go I'll just grab you on 
knock you flying because I can together and go around with the old sanding sticks and yeah give it a bit of a a larrapin because I've got just off of shot on me right there about half a dozen of these all in different grits and what I tend to do is I as you can see, I'll just build away quite happily, putting bits and bobs together, and then I'll go back at it once the glue's dried, doing all the nubbing and the seams and all of that, because a seam like that would annoy me, so I'll go back at that when the piece is actually dry, because then I get to see what the eye is going to see when I've built it and that then determines to me whether it's worth doing or not are you going to see it is it going to be that noticeable things like that so that's how I tend to do it others may do it in their own imitable way but it works for me it's probably not the way that other builders would do it but that's the beauty of this hobby. We all do things slightly differently than each other. And like I say, you know, I'm not saying my way is the best way. It, it works for me. Always remedy the situation. with a dab extra of glue. Like that. Bingo. Uh, that's that. That's all of the canning done. Action arms on the side there as well. And probably do the door as well. So we'll get them bit uh, and start the ball rolling on that. Let's see what the door looks like in situ because I want to put all the hinges and everything on and I'll tape, tape the door in place temporarily on there. I think we can have a a wee lucky loo and do that so we can have a bit of doorage going on next yeah figure out how that's gonna look in place I want to look for the corresponding dimples that are gonna be the internal part of the hinge around about there I reckon so let's slap a bit of tape over that and put that in place. Reasonably in place anyway. Just for now. Like that. That piece in there. Just lop those little ears off. And according to that, they then go in the door, he says. One there, and one there. So I'll just pop that door back 
off just for a sec. Just put that on. And a bit of glue in the middle there. Because there's pegs in the middle as well. Do the same on the opposite side. And another bit in the middle. Like that. Yeah. Uh, let that dry. We'll come back and do a couple of the feet now. So we want that bit there. And we want that piece over there. And cut it just there. So that's those. Those two bits are sorted, and then we fit this. Uh, yeah, that goes in there like that. Do this. Yeah, there you go. And then just drop them in. Big old watch down the middle there, like that. And then the ski is going on the outside, like that. a foot in place. Fragile. No festering allowed on that. Let it dry. Leave it. Don't even look at it. Well, I've gone and uh, gone and done it now because I've just gone and looked at it and I doofus. I'll keep that sprue down because I want that. That one can go away. Uh, I want that, so I'll grab that because that's got the, the door, door opening wheel and also has the internal grab handle for the door, so I might as well lock that off whilst I think of it. Uh, just make sure that that is the internal handle for the door before I cut it off, it is. My powers of deduction, Cole, you've done something right there, mate. You go careful, won't you? A bit like that. And that's another sprue for Neatode. It's one of those. I don't know whether you guys get it, but you get excited when you're doing a kit because you're nearing completion. But also, you get this little thing of when you finish a sprue you're glad you finished the sprue but you're also thinking well <laughs> yeah well I am anyway I, I I have mixed emotions when I build kits I look forward to doing them and, and, that, and I start them and you see sprues finishing and, and you're getting nearer to the end but I also, I fall in love with me kits almost and you build this relationship with the model that you're creating or trying to create and yeah, 
So I kind of have mixed emotions at this stage. It slams the door shut. Uh, we then got the wheel of wheel of central in the middle. I suppose that's why it's the wheel of central cult. So we can have ourselves some of that as well going on. There you go. going over there for a sec uh, well, we can have a look at the the hinges whilst I think of those and that will be the door sorted and then we can get back to where we wanted to be which was the tire uh, only to cover it all with mud and detritus which yeah but I know but that's what us bottlers do in it these I'll cut off the sprues when it comes to painting them. So bear that in mind, folks. You'll see them at some point on a cocktail stick or other implement, and they'll be uh, ready to paint, same as all of these. I'll keep these on the sprues, take the nubs off, and then they'll go through in the spray booth. So we can have a bit of that going on. So we can pop the door back on as near as damn it in its its place so that we can get a bit of engine going in. That's what we want to do now and it get the engines in. Like that. There you go, a little bit of masking tape. Although it's not very sticky, it's enough for what we're about to do. Which is we're going to put a dob of glue in there and a dob of glue in there. And then we'll get the big tweezers out. And we'll do a bit of that. Like so. And just see about getting that in place with the door where we want it to be. Again, I'm not overtly worried about too much glue. So now we can let that fully cure. But that's the internal part of one half and all of that is going to get painted the same colour. Let's give it a good old larrapin. Two or three coats on there. I've got another one of these to do. So you've seen one. I'll go ahead and build the other one. And then all of this then will go and be airbrushed. But I'll put a new, new piece of Tamiya over there and we'll give it a thing. I might even spray it without it on there, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we got the gun sorted, so we're happy with that now. So we can put that to one side. And we can start, pardon me, getting tyres done. So let's grab me multi holder out might as well because I'm going to be using more than one pot so 
gonna slap that there for a minute because I'm gonna be using me super gloopy and one of those lackey bands and see what we uh, can come up with I think I'm gonna like that and then we'll grab the set frame we'll get a bit of the old gloopy stuff like that and let that go sticky alright and then we can now with the second piece we've done drop that on the bottom like that and we can come and grab the sticky bit that we started now that that's had time to cure for a bit and you can see what I'm doing here I'm doing it in quarters like that bit of stickage and then we'll have a bit of stickage now on this bit and the theory being is when I put the lackey band on in a moment that will start the process of all of this then trying to to come together it's a tough one but it's doable that's what I think anyway glue to buy it not fast about the scene yet that's really not what this is about this is about getting the tire on getting the tire in place getting glue in and then letting the glue do its thing reasonably happy that that's going to go together quite happily yeah I have so I just want to make sure we've got a bit of turnage to go but it might bite onto the internal plastic if it does it does if it don't it don't worried about that just yet because I can always release it once the elastic bands off there you go I think we got a bit of turnage now and I want to try and retain that ability to turn it but it is tight so yeah bear that in mind folks but you know do we turn the tracks on our big armor tanks when we make them not really but i want to try and get it as good as i can so i'm already spotting a big scene now so i'm going to go gloop to raise this section and then you come at it after with a, a sanding stick now I got this off of Fox I think he did it on a a big Gundam leg ages and ages and ages and ages ago and I can remember I was just getting back into the hobby at the time and I'd been watching Tony and then he said oh I'll have a nip over and watch me other mate's channel he said a uh, bloke called Fox and I went yeah no worries mate send me the 
the details and I'll go and have a, a wee looky loo and I went over and I started watching and I was like okay what are all these big well, at the time I thought they was transformers but I, I can assure you I was soon instructed that they're not um, but yeah and I didn't I didn't get it at first you know and I was like mm, it's not really my cup of tea so to speak but I watched and observed and I really got into the techniques that he was using and suddenly I got it if that makes any logical sense I got where he was coming from and how he was applying the techniques that he was using on these on other areas of modeling so I really got into watching his weathering and that and then he, he let me know about Ted and, and started watching Skipper. And I can watch these guys do their weathering for hours because they make it look so effortless, you know, so de seaming and, and weathering and stuff. And hopefully I'll get the opportunity to try to to do what I can with this because I'm not the greatest at weathering, I'm still learning it, you know, so, yeah, I'll have a good go, I'll always give it me best, but I do doff me at to the, to the people that do it a lot better than I do, so, we've got that bit of seaming going on now, and I'm gonna let that do its drying now. And then we can come at it with a sanding stick and, and all of that. But I think, all in all, we've had a, a good little sesh there. Um, other pipes that will be going in as well. We've got that pipe goes up there. That one goes in around there somewhere. Oh yeah, there they are. There's me trying to squint so that I could see what I'm looking at. And there's a, uh, another picture of it there. And then we've got some little pipes that go to the radiator section and that. So we'll chop them off and get them in place once this tyre has had time to uh, do its thing. Because I want to get the rubber band off and make sure everything's moving around on that before I go any further. So I'm going to call that episode done. So I'm going to clear up, clear off, um, feel free to pop over to emodels.co.uk and have a look in store for any bits and bobs that you're after to, to help you out at the bench in these uh, delicate times, should I say. The guys will email you when your order's dispatched, just to let you know it's on its merry way. Uh, things are beginning to return to normal. Say hello to the guys. Uh, website's still open, so you can still order. Um, props to James, uh, Pete, and everyone else for, for keeping us guys um, able to do our hobby in these uh, needy times. And um, look out for the other builders' videos on the eModels channel there. I'll see you in part four, doing this little fella. And until then, thank you all for watching. Stay home, stay safe, keep well, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye for now. Eee, ball tank.